Hello, Panther Nation. Welcome to FIUSports.com. Brian Duvall along with FIU women's basketball head coach Marlon Chen. And, Coach, thanks for taking some time out to join us here. I know you're very busy right now, but we want to get a, a sense of how things are going because we're getting ready to start the season. Are you excited? We are super excited, ready to roll this season. And uh, ladies have been working really hard uh, to get to this point. So uh, we're, look, we're expecting some very nice results as we move into our season. Let's talk about, obviously, right now before the season tips, you're going to tip off on uh, Friday, November the 13th at home against Florida A&M. Where is your team right now going into that game? Uh, right now, we're we're pretty good in, in good spirits right now as we move forward in, into our uh, our opener. Uh, Florida A and M is a, a very challenging team for us, and we're looking forward to uh, to bringing them in and competing against them. What is your expectation of your team? You know, for the first game, obviously there's jitters all around. You know, new new head coach, new staff, players, and everything like that. First game. What, what is your expectation of the first game? Well, number one is uh, we're we're going to definitely try to execute and be at our best, and uh, and and let the results uh, be what they may. Uh, but again, I want us to come out with a lot of energy and effort, and uh, you know, hopefully that will result in a win for us. And trying to build this program, Coach, what is the most important key in building a winner? Uh, the biggest thing is just trying to get your culture in, uh, that, you know, the culture of, of how you want to play and, and, and how you want to perform on and off the floor. I think once, uh, you know, uh, all that comes in and when, however long that takes, uh, when that is in place, I think you, you, will, have, uh, you will see some great results in, in, in uh, a winning basketball program. And having said that, what does a successful season in year one for you look like? Uh, you know, a lot of teams measure success differently. Uh, I think for us, uh, again, for us, our energy and effort as we come out every night, I think that that's a, that's a, a success in itself. If we can come out and, and uh, perform the way we would like to perform every night, uh, though that would be a definite success. But... Uh, we don't want to put uh, a number of wins and, and uh, on, on a, the type of success that we want to see. But uh, as long as we turn it uh, in a direction that we want to go, I know it's going to uh, produce some great results for us. And challenging some of the, in the players and practice and everything like that, have you seen the spark out of the players and seen that drive and that will to win and almost like they're discovering their love of basketball again? <laughs> well, they, they uh, you know, when we first got here, obviously it was a shock to them as the summer workout stuff that we had put together uh, and a plan for them. But um, they've, they've gotten used to it really quickly. Uh, and, yes, you do see the, uh, the energy, the effort, uh, and you can see some, uh, some of the folks that do have that love and passion for the game. They're getting a ton of shots up in the gym, uh, and I think that's key when they, you know, want to come into the gym on their own. Uh, not just for practice. What is your style of basketball? How would you describe that to the fans? Uh, we are going to play an up-tempo style of basketball. We want to, we're, we're going to be a transition basketball team. Uh, I think uh, you know, that takes a, a, a lot of conditioning for us, uh, and that's where we're headed. Uh, so when you talk about the style of play we're going to play, we're going to be up-tempo. We're going to press at, at, at opportunities that we have to, to press. Uh, but I, I'd like to, to kind of describe our style as up-tempo and transition. How do you connect, Coach, with your players? Obviously trying to build something here and build a relationship. You know, how do you connect with, with the players? You know, there are a lot of different ways. Uh, you know, I've been doing this quite for, uh, for some time now, and there are a lot of different ways to connect. You just have to find the ones that work for them. And it could be uh, music. It could be television. Uh, it could be a lot of different things, social media-wise. There are a lot of, you know, in this age and generation, uh, they're texting. Uh, but we have a texting uh, uh, team. So uh, there are different ways that we like to use to uh, connect with them and to also to connect with our recruits, which is exciting in itself. Is it harder to, to teach a team how to win or how to close out a ball game? <laughs> I think both. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it's, it, it takes some time. I think, yeah. you know, you, you see those successes that you have in practice uh, and you just kind of want to continue to remind them we want to turn this over into a game. And uh, as much as we can, uh, I guess, simulate uh, game-like situations in practice, uh, will you have an opportunity to see it in a game? So. Uh, however long, again, that takes uh, is, is up to our ball club. And, and again, I think it's going, to, it's going to be fairly quickly for us. I guess mental toughness is what we need. Because I feel like on practice, we know what we're doing. We know the plays and everything. But on the games, we just 
I don't know, maybe we just don't believe that we can win, but we need to start believing that we're good and we can win and uh, we got this year. What was the moment for you when it's like, okay, we're we're really trying to build something here? Um, From the first time that we even spoke to him, we didn't get a chance to see him face to face because actually he was at the Final Four. Hearing him on the phone, you know, he had a, a conference call with us in the room and just hearing his energy and just, you know, how he connected with us and he didn't even know any of us yet. We haven't personally met him face to face. That kind of gave a spark to everybody and especially to me, like, you know, I think we're in for something good here. Like, this is going to be the start of something new here. As a senior, how have you seen the team respond to him in practice uh, throughout, you know, since practice started? I think we are really embracing it. Mm -hmm. um, it is starting off kind of slow, but I think right now we're just trying to figure out what's going on and learn how to trust his process. And I mean, because he's come from a winning program. So I think everything, every advice that he's going to give us is nothing but going to help us be successful. What is Positivity Monday? You know, Positivity Monday came from a, a, a young lady named Sequoia Austin. I have to give her all the credit. She was a walk-on for us at Maryland, earned her way to a scholarship. Uh, and she was just an amazing ball of energy for us every single day, her four years uh, at Maryland. Uh, and she came up with an idea of Positivity Monday because she was so positive, and she decided to put it on a T-shirt, and it just went viral. <laughs> so, uh, but she was awesome. I reached out to her. She's uh, she obviously has graduated from Maryland. Actually, she's teaching now in the Tampa, Florida area. And uh, you know, I reached out to her and and told her I wanted to spread her Positivity Monday down this way in South Florida, and she was more than welcome to doing that. And uh, we're excited that she did, and, and, and that's how Positivity Monday came to uh, FIU. And it just wasn't your team, but you spread it to the athletic offices and all the athletic department as well. No question. I, I wanted to make sure, you know, we got our message across. I think it's, uh, it, you know, it, it crosses uh, programs. I think it, you know, I'm, I'm all FIU, so I, I definitely wanted to make sure that um, we spread our Positivity Monday across all the programs, so, and even administration. It's, what is the first thing you mentioned about FIU? You have to see this place. <laughs> I think, uh, you, you know, I, I tell them all the time. I mean, I fell in love with this campus. Uh, you know, I, I really, really fell in love with the campus when I got here. And, uh, you know, it was just an amazing place to be. It's a city in itself. Um, and I just tell that when that just came to my mind and it just made it a hashtag, you have to see this place because once you get here, it's so many things to all, we have so many things to offer. Uh, it, it's, I, it's hard to say no. Um, and that was difficult for me to say no when I, when I, when I took my visit down here also. Your favorite thing about your staff? You know, uh, they have great smiles, man. <laughs> and, and, uh, they have a, they have, they, they have a ton of energy also. Uh, just super blessed that uh, they we were able to put the, this this uh, this group of assistants together. Um, they bring a vast uh, 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 amount of energy and knowledge to to our program, and they're only going to get better. So uh, I'm ex I'm I'm so excited that you know uh, I kind of kind of tricked them to get down here to Florida, but <laughs> but no, it, it, I'm super excited that they came down and, and wanted to be a part of something new here and, and, and the movement that we're doing here. And to all the fans and alumni and everything, what is the message that you want to get to across them about FIU women's basketball? That we are going to be a, a very viable program for fans and alumni and uh, future Panthers. Uh, we want to definitely uh, move to the top of the conference, and that's that's the only way I know and the only way we're going to go. So looking forward to, to for that journey and looking forward to getting to the top. All right, Coach, thanks very much for the time. And, folks, for the latest on your Panthers, keep it locked right here to FIUsports.com all season.